In this video, we will be studying about the other topic that is transfer of heat. See, if I talk about heat, it has various effects. Number one, heat increases in temperature. Heat causes increase in temperature. Right? Second, heat causes change of state. For example, the ice became in liquid form and then this liquid changes to gaseous form as water vapors. Then the yeah, heat causes chemical changes. Like if I talk about cooking, if there is cooking which means there are some chemical changes that are taking place. Now your heat affects living organisms. Right. Now see if I ask you to keep the fry pan on the flame and allow it to you know uh, and allow this fry pan to be on the flame for two to three minutes. After that, turn off the flame and try, uh, try to touch the fry pan a little bit so that you uh, you don't get hurt or you can see the some heat is coming through the fry pan, which means that heat passes from the flame to the utensil. After that, keep the fry pan aside. Now you will see that your fry pan slowly cools down. Now in this case, the heat is transferred from the pan to the surroundings. So the heat flows from a hotter object to the colder object. See, we know that the heat transfer from the hotter object to the Colder object. Now let's see the transfer of heat. In this, we will see the transfer of heat through a metal strip. Now take a road or a flat stick of metal. This is the road. Say of aluminium or iron. Now fix a small, few small wax pieces on the road. Now these are small wax pieces on the road that has been fixed. Now these pieces should be at uh, nearly equal distances. Now climb to the road to a stand. If you do not find a stand, you can put the road in the bricks. In between these bricks, you can put this road. Now light the candle and after some time, you will see that the heat transfers from this metal strips and heat this wax and wax starts melting. Now the process by which, so the process by which heat is transferred from the hotter end to the colder end of an object is known as conduction right now you might observe that the metallic pan for cooking has a plastic or wooden handle at the end to lift the hot pan by holding it from the handle without getting burnt 
Now these uh, plastic uh, handles or the wooden handles are the poor conductors of heat or you can say them as the insulators. So with this we come to the conclusion about the conductors and the insulators of heat. Now the conductors, the material that allows heat to pass through them easily are conductors of heat. Such as the aluminium, iron, copper, etc. All the metals. Now the materials that do not allow heat to pass through them easily are called insulators. Right now, the air and water are the insulator of heat. Now, we will be studying in the coming video about the insulator that how these insulators do not allow the heat to pass through them easily. I hope you have understood this, whatever has been taught in this video. If you have any doubts, any questions you want to ask me regarding this videos or previous videos, you can write me down in the comment box and do download the Scholars Learning app.